Now I'm going to continue with my sock here. It was the toe that I was shaping and I have 14 stitches that are working. Now, and my carriage is over on this side, I put a stitch back into work opposite the carriage, push it down just far enough so it catches it and the latch is open so it will knit across. Pushing it down. Each row adding a stitch back into work opposite the carriage. At this point I'm going to take my heel weights and move them up so it'll give it more weight. See how that's popping up off the needles? I make sure that they won't get lost. Opposite the carriage, push one down. Here's the carriage side coming around my thread. I'm going to do that until all of the toe stitches are back in work. And that'll be up to that hash mark on each side. That's half of the cylinder. At that point, I will put all the stitches in work and put a scrap yarn on and scrap everything off. I will get about so far on my knitting and put a ravel cord in there and then my scrap yarn again and make some more about so far and then start my second sock. And guess why I'm doing that with that scrap, a uh, ravel cord? With that ravel cord, because as I'm knitting in between the socks, I don't have to take a scissor and cut my scrap in between. I can just pull out, usually we just cut, and we have pieces all over like this. If I put a ravel cord in there, I pull that out and it'll separate beautifully. And so that is the new thing that we are doing, making socks. So you make your sock, scrap, ravel cord, more scrap, and start your second sock. Have fun doing this. Thank you for watching.